All right, peoples, you know what time it is. We're going to go ahead outside pretty soon here, and we're going to do some work this morning. Uh, we got to put a lot of apple trees in the ground. We got to put some stone fruits in the ground. Uh, we're doing a lot of work out there to kind of alleviate some of that in the spring. Um, you know what? Before I go outside, we're just going to drink some tea. Um, I really love some caffeine in the morning. I don't like to go crazy with the caffeine. It makes me a little anxious, but um, green tea is incredible. I love matcha. We went to Japan this summer, my girlfriend and I, and we got to experience some really high quality stuff. It's everywhere. We had some matcha lattes, and that's what we're going to make for you guys right now before I head outside. So we got ourselves some water already heated. If I turn this on, it kind of gets to a little bit of a rolling boil here. You can hear that. We don't really want it too warm. We don't want it boiling. We want it just below boiling. Somewhere about 180, 175 degrees. We're going to throw in that water, but I kind of already messed up. <laughs> We're going to throw it in our cup here. And I like to fill it up about, I don't know, 20 to 30% of the way. And just throw in that water. And we don't want to put in too much water. We get about a, you know, I'm putting in about a fourth of a teaspoon of matcha here. But, you know, I really don't like to drink a lot of caffeine. So, um, I've only thrown in a one fourth of a, of a teaspoon. But you really should put in about a teaspoon to a half a teaspoon. That's really recommended. Um, you know, this stuff is extremely, extremely green. Look how green that is. And that's just nuts. This is some really high quality stuff. The greener it is, the better the quality is. You really want to try to help preserve this stuff. You know, put make sure it's got a nice little seal tight lid on it. Find yourself a high quality matcha, guys. This one comes directly from Japan. Highly recommended. I think this little thing here cost me about 20 bucks, but here in the United States, it's going to cost me way more, I think, for this quality. Um, you just can't find it nearly as well. But once we got our matcha in there and our water, it's just pretty simple from here, right? We don't want to add in too much water because if you add in too much water, this stuff's not going to foam. We're going to take our little bamboo thing. We're just going to go nuts. We're going to go back and forth like this. Not in a circle, okay? I know a lot of you guys want to do that. But we're not doing that. We're just going back and forth with our bamboo thing. I've done this with other tools and it just doesn't work nearly as well. You really need one of these bamboo things. You can pick one up on Amazon, you know, for what? 15, 20 bucks? 10 bucks maybe? I don't know. It's pretty cheap. And you know what? They're made from bamboo, so they're going to last. But you got to go as quick as you humanly possibly can. When I was in Japan, they were telling me I wasn't going quick enough. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really trying hard here. You can see we've got some foam, and that's what we want. We want that foaminess in the matcha. I'm just going back and forth. And we're going to do this until I get to a, I don't know, a satisfying level of foam is really what I would recommend. Um, it's up to you. You don't really have to go nuts. You can. I mean, there's a million ways to make this stuff, right? There's a million ways to make this than other people are going to be making it. This is merely just to try to get you guys to grow some green tea and uh, make some matcha at home because it's really not that difficult. And you know what? It tastes incredible. And it's really healthy for you. I mean, all this green color here really has a ton of antioxidants in it. Um, it's a powdered form of tea, right? So when I went to Japan, we got to visit a tea farm there. We got to talk to actually two different tea farmers from two different farms. And um, what they do to this green tea is they actually cover the rows and hedges of tea plants with a shade cloth. I think it's like 60% like or something like that, 65% shade or some number in there. I have to look back at my uh, the, some of the video I took at the tea farm, but basically, you know, it it uh, it covers them from the sun, and then it kind of decreases that chemical that the tea leaf um, creates. And in too much sun, that that chemical gets too high, and you get yourself some bitter tea leaves. So they cover them with the uh, 
with the you know the protection from the sun and that way that chemical doesn't form and they actually are a bit of a sweeter leaf and then they what they do is they dry the leaf and then um, grind that down into a powder form and that's what you see here in this jar I mean it's just absolutely insane how incredibly tasty this is so what I'd recommend from here I'm just gonna pour out that water we're gonna take our uh, our milk we want to make this into a latte we're gonna fill this up to about halfway maybe a little a little less than that and then we're going to pour this in our cup So about the mixture here is about half matcha, half milk. You can play around with that, right, to your liking. But that's about it. And this is it. This is a matcha latte. Um, you know, and I would recommend getting yourself some whipped cream. Um, we're out of it. But you can also get yourself some honey. Local organic raw honey is exactly what you guys want to find. And I get my honey from uh, sullybees at gmail.com. This is my girlfriend's uncle. He uh, is a beekeeper. I highly invest. I highly suggest you guys invest in a beekeeper. I know that doesn't make any sense, but find yourself a beekeeper that's local in your area. This stuff's really um, antibacterial. Helps you um, stay healthy. May even help with your allergies. This stuff is incredible for taste, but also for a whole other bunch of other reasons. So I'm gonna probably take some of this honey put it in here, mix it around and get ourselves a nice little matcha latte. We'll take a sip. Ah, that's really good. The last step I wanted, to, I would suggest, I forgot to do this, but heat up the milk before you put it in with the matcha. If you want it to keep, uh, to stay warm that is. Otherwise you can ice this. You know, it's really pretty simple at that point, but you know, do whatever it is you want to do with it. The last thing I want to show you guys is that we've, we've been making some kimchi that's exactly what this is in here. Homemade kimchi. No, I'm not Korean, but uh, I kind of wish I was because this stuff's incredible. Um, it's really easy to make. Just take some cabbage, throw some salt on it, let it ferment overnight. A lot of that water will come out of the cabbage. Take a little, t little taste test here. This has been sitting on the... Um, after we added in a whole bunch of different, you know, all that paste, right? The the red pepper flakes, the uh, you know, the soy sauce, the fish sauce. We added in carrots. We added in, you know, a whole bunch of different things. Maybe I'll do a video showing you guys how to make this exactly. It's really, really simple. But I'm gonna taste a little bit of the the uh, kimchi here. See how it's gone. It's only been fermenting for two days here. Oh man, that's good. That's real good. Very salty, but that's really good flavor. It's got a lot of shrimp in there. I put some uh, nori in there. I put some, some green onion. Oh my God, that's really good. And you know what? It's got that little fermented, that little fermented flavor to it. Got some nice tang, you know, it's carbonating. That's some really healthy stuff, guys. I mean, out of all the foods I eat, I think kimchi is the absolute most healthy food there is. It is, um, it's incredible. It does wonders for your, your stomach, guys. Anyway, thank you all for watching this one. That was Ross making some matcha in the morning here. Maybe we'll do one on kimchi. Let me know, guys, in the comments below if you enjoyed this one. Talk to y'all later.